Tuesday. 20 past 10, so I'm quite late. But I did everything on my ease. I had a good breakfast. This camping site is very simple. But the toilets, showers were clean and in good order. It could, could use uh, some other decoration and renovation and all the kind of stuff, but it works. That's the most important thing. And now I am uh, driving in the direction of Glencoe in where I have hired a pod for two nights. So tonight if everything works as intended, then I have no tent to put up. Yeah, this campsite looks very, very simple. Oh, thank you. Okay, have a safe journey. Thank, thank you for the hospitality. Okay, that's the best. Come for those. Okay. Bye. But the owner is a really nice guy. There should be an, yeah, there, a pump. Oh, shallow, shallow. Shallow, shallow, shallow. Come on. Put it down, yeah. Pay in the shop. Okay. No chance today to figure out if slowly putting the pass inside the machine is really working out. What is exactly the direction I had to go for? Stop it. It's always a challenge. Now I want to get rid of this camper van. Yeah. Difficult to see anything. Uh. Yeah. And I also see spots of blue sky. Oh, I need to get to the right. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Road close. That's kind of a pity. Is there any possibility to do that? I think think not. Might be. Yeah. I know. Well, I want to I'll ask you very friendly if it is possible for me as a motorbiker to pass that car around. No, you can't pass there. That's why the road's closed. Is, is it? Working on the bridge. Oh, a little bit further on also. The machine that's on the bridge is on there, so nobody can go past there. Okay. That's why the road's closed. Yeah, the only. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, but because the bike is only dead now, so I might be yeah, there. Yeah, you go past there, he'll go, he'll go mad. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the, okay. Yeah, then then need, need to find a way uh, to get uh, around it, so... Okay. No worries. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so 
And now I have to find... I think I have found something. Um, okay. Yeah, this is uh, Loch Ness. And in front of me uh, I have the Urquhart Castle. And uh, I'm allowed to visit the castle, of course, if I pay 16 pounds, which is about 20 euros. And I don't feel any need to do that. Okay. So much for the Urquhart Castle. And I still have Lord Ness left of me. And it's a very large uh, lake, to be honest. So there's a good chance if I'm driving uh, a little bit uh, slower that uh, I will see uh, the monster coming up. Then I can wave at him. Would be nice. The town that uh, comes with it a little bit back is also very touristic. There was a sign over there, Nessie Land. Nessie Land. Well, then you need to have a lot of imagination to come up with such a name. Nessie Land. Ah, here. I have some view. Yeah, I thought I see it swimming. There was a sign alongside, alongside the road indicating they have coffee here. Let's do a coffee. A very new building. Nice. You don't see that very much here in Scotland. Because most of the stuff is uh, outdated, very outdated. Nou, do we have an entrance? Do see a counter? Ja. Yeah. English coffee is a food bath. I'm going to put a lot of sugar in it because I'm not completely sure if the coffee is uh, dual or so. so. That's something English can't have, can't do also, making good coffee. Mm. Terrible. Terrible. Okay. Just a break. I do have a croissant with ham and cheese. That's nice. I'm coming now from Inverness, which is uh, at the east side of uh, Scotland, which is a lower and less interesting in terms of uh, landscapes. But uh, now I'm uh, going more in the direction of uh, the highlands and uh, now it landscape becomes more interesting i'm doing the a87 and uh, that uh, appears uh, to be a quite a busy road here L look what's coming up beautiful road but a busy road that's one and then from the other side. That's two. Beautiful. I played a little bit with uh, the idea to, to put the drone up, but behind the hill there, there's a power plant. With uh, very large mills. And I'm almost sure if I'm going to put the drone up that I get all kinds of messages that I'm not allowed to do so because of the power plant uh, very close by so I did some shopping in the supermarket farm foods 
because tonight and also tomorrow night I have a pot and that pot do have a microwave according to the website so then I thought I need to have a complete meal that I can shove in the microwave and then I uh, I'm finished and the destination is uh, a quarter past four so that's a half an hour from now I also found in that uh, supermarket a bottle of milk I do like milk but two liters is way too much the last couple of days I found some milk and that is uh, a quarter of a liter so a small a small package that's fantastic but I could not find that in the supermarket I also found some pancakes with already chocolate on it okay now yeah I can live with that this is uh, Fort William and lots of people said to me forget Fort William go to Glencoe statue over there on a pole had a lot of history all kinds of uh, signs indicating what uh, it's all about but I have nothing much with uh, that kind of monuments to be honest I want to see that uh, Glen Finnan uh, viaduct where the train station where the train is coming over I have found the viaduct now there is a hill a little bit up higher there where a lot of people are still standing waiting for the train passing by to make the famous picture but still the view is beautiful and uh, the weather well I'm walking in the sun it's not that hot yeah we have a motor jacket on bike suit that's a little bit warm but I'm not complaining better than doing it in the rain yeah here <laughs> directly ahead in front of me you see a lot of people there standing on the, the hill waiting for the train passing by welcome in my pot I do have a pot. The pot's called Laroch. 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 I don't have a clue how to pronounce it, but that's it. And I have uh, a table with some chairs outside, which I can sit on when the sun is shining. Not very really now. And I have to say, it's a lovely, lovely thing. At the beach? No, it's not a beach. It's a lake. At the lake, I have to say. I can sit at the lake. A uh, little bit pity that it's uh, raining right now. So this is the pot. Right in. Yeah, indeed, I like. This is bed I can uh, put open probably and then uh, do my uh, sleeping bag uh, on it. I have uh, some heater, I have a refrigerator, I have a television, I have a microwave, I have electricity. Fantastic!
kind of shiny. And if you, according to the expectations, it will keep shining all day long and tomorrow also. So now finally now I have again beautiful weather. And uh, that gave me the time to uh, dry my tent a little bit because yesterday evening it was pouring down a lot of rain wet very wet but uh, in the sunshine on the, the black tarmac it dries up in minutes so it's fantastic now i've talked to uh, a guy next to me that he is indicating a little bit up there there is a, a, a walking path where you can do a hike <coughs> not that long a couple of miles going up a little bit and i think i'm going to do that uh, today and I'm doing a short hike from the campsite where I'm staying to a lake. And according to Google Maps, that lake should be very close by. So it should be a short walk. But the fact is, the path towards the lake, well, there is no sort of a highway or an elevator or whatever. So the path is circling around the lake. So it should be a walk or a hike of about 15 minutes. But I have the feeling because it is circling around the complete lake. <laughs> it takes a little bit longer than that.